You are not gonna go through school and not be able to find a job. Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna talk about the helicopter pilot shortage. And no, we're not in my uh, typical filming location. I am actually in my home state of Colorado right now. And it's a beautiful day. It's a little bit windy, so I'm gonna talk kind of loud, but uh, we're at the, one of my favorite parks that I grew up coming to, and it, it's a gorgeous background. But in today's video, we're talking about the helicopter pilot shortage. And I just wanna start with, um, uh, who I'm addressing this video to. So if you want to become a helicopter pilot or if you're interested in the, an aviation career at all, this video is for you. This is targeted to people that want to do this potentially as a career path. Now, coming out right now up front, if you want to become a helicopter pilot, it is by far the best time you could ever do it. It is an insane time. There are so many different factors. And you know, we hear this with everything, like with the economy and the previous pandemic, like it's just an insane time. But that transfers over to the helicopter pilot industry or just the aviation industry. It is a crazy good time to be a pilot. But before we get into the factors of why and how this is going to affect you if you want to become uh, a pilot in the industry, I wanna talk about what it looks like to get a job in the industry. When you graduate flight school with your, you're gonna get your private, you're gonna get your commercial, you have to have those two. But then you're probably gonna have to become a flight instructor, a CFI, and that's the way you're gonna build your hours. So when you graduate flight school, you're gonna have maybe 200-ish hours. Well, to get those big jobs, those helicopter EMS jobs, um, any of the cool stuff that like police law enforcement stuff you need about 2,000 hours so to bridge the gap between 200 and 2,000 you're probably gonna have to become a flight instructor or a tour pilot and so let's say you go the traditional route that I did and most people do of becoming a flight instructor it is such a hot market to become a flight instructor right now so for example I will tell you my credentials and then my experience so I finished school in 2021 um, before I was done with school, I had so I had my private commercial CFI uh, instrument and CFII. So I had everything I could have. I also had all of my Robinson R22 hours and Robinson R44 hours. So um, you could ask me questions, but I was as qualified as I could get. And before I had graduated that program, I had five different companies that I was talking to, five different flight schools, and I had offers from two of them before I was done with school. The reason is people need flight instructors right now. And so that was in 2021 and I was getting, I, people were talking to me, people wanted me. But now, crazy time. My previous employer that I worked at called Independent Helicopters, while I was there, we could not find CFIs. Like we had ads out on every website. I was talking to people I knew. We had everyone trying to bring in flight instructors because we needed them because our school was busy. We just could not find the flight instructors. And it's not just Independent Helicopters where I worked, it was every single flight school that I knew. Anyone that I talked to, they couldn't find flight instructors. So that's kind of hard on you as the student because there's not enough instructors, but from the instructor side, from the career side, it is a great position. Companies are gonna pay these flight instructors more and more and more to recruit them, to get them on board because there is no one. So let's say you do that. You go to flight school, you get all your ratings, and then you become a flight instructor. You build up your time there, and then you've got your 1,500 to 2,000 hours. There are so many jobs out there right now, especially helicopter, air ambulance, EMS stuff. Dude, so many jobs, it's wild. And don't just take my word for it, like I'm in, in the industry and I see it too, but these are my two favorite websites. Justhelicopters.com, I think, that is by far my favorite website for any helicopter job. The second one is called JS Firm, and I'll throw that up on the screen right now. If you just spend five minutes looking at those two websites, just scrolling through, there are just so many jobs. But let's answer the question of why. Why are there jobs? Why is it so hot right now? And so it's not just the helicopter industry. Actually, the fixed wing airline industry, it's way worse over there. Just uh, I'll throw some articles up on screen right now, but the airlines are really struggling to find pilots, even worse than the helicopter market. So one of the primary reasons is the last generation of helicopter pilots, the older Vietnam era helicopter pilots, they're all retiring. So we just have a very old helicopter pilot generation. And then secondly, fixed wing, the commercial airline market. 
if you just want to be a pilot in the sky, the commercial airline pilot is a much better route. It's much cheaper to get all of your fixed wing stuff. And then on the backside, you're getting paid way, way, way more to fly fixed wing. So that is really hard for the helicopter industry to handle it, is that you have these people that want to be aviators, want to be pilots, but there are a lot of advantages to going to the fixed wing side. Yeah, it's not as fun and the quality of life may be different. And like flying helicopters is great for just the fun of flying helicopters and because we love to fly. But the, the airlines have a lot going for them and they're recruiting a ton of helicopter pilots. I mean, this is crazy that like the airlines, I mean, I've seen these job postings and it, you can look it up too, but the airlines w are pulling helicopter pilots away from those jobs. They'll say, hey, we will pay for all of your fixed wing training. We'll put you through school and then we'll get you started on some of these airplanes and you'll get paid a lot more. That's very tempting. Now, I like to fly helicopters, so I think I'm gonna stick with this, but it is tempting to know that those airline jobs will pay for all my stuff and then I could be flying a really cool airplane. And one of the final reasons why it's so difficult to become a helicopter pilot is because the training is just not easy. Yes, it's gonna be difficult to become a helicopter pilot, but the route, it's just very expensive, very time consuming. And the final thing that I wanna talk about which branches off of that is because the minimums are so high to get to those good jobs. Here is the general breakdown for the high, cool helicopter pilot jobs like helicopter, air ambulance, law enforcement, all of the cool stuff. Okay, 2,000 hours total time, 1,500 hours helicopter, 500 turbine, and then you need like your night, your cross country, and your instrument. Those numbers are really, really high. Like that, it's just very difficult to build 2,000 hours of experience. Now, if you were to ask me, does it make sense to have these pilots have 2,000 hours of experience? Yeah, it makes a ton of sense. Like I, and should that number be lower? Honestly, no. Like. Do I want someone that's flying a medevac mission because someone's critically injured? I want them to have like 2,000 hours. I want them to have those years of training, years of situations that have happened. They just know how to handle things better. I don't think a 500 to 1,000 hour pilot can handle what a 2,000 hour pilot can handle. So it makes sense, but that just makes the, the path to becoming a pilot that's qualified there super hard. So all of that to say, if you want to become a helicopter pilot, do it right now. And if you want to do it, commit to it, do it as frequently and as committed as you possibly can. Try to fly three or four times a week. Study, get your ratings. It's gonna be expensive, but there are jobs you are gonna get picked up. Like if you, I'm telling you, if you have your ratings and you're like a decent, good person with good morals and you're just a well-rounded individual, there is a job for you. There is a job for you as a flight instructor. There is a job for you as a tour pilot. And there is a helicopter, air ambulance, law enforcement, power line, whatever you want at the end of it. You are not gonna go through school and not be able to find a job. You know, a lot of people talk about like going to college or going to school for and getting a degree in something you'll never use. Like that is not how aviation and helicopter school works. Like you're gonna be all right. So we'll wrap it up there. That is uh, my final takeaway. It's kind of just a question that I wish I had answered when I was uh, starting this journey or I was I was looking for this kind of video so there it is if you go to flight school you're gonna have a job you're gonna have a high-paying job and people are gonna want you and I, I don't see it ever I mean for the next 20 years it's not gonna end whether we're taken over by drones or some other extenuating circumstance but you are gonna have a job you're gonna be okay and if you have any questions about them leave it down in the comments below reach out to me for questions if you have any and I will see you guys on the next one take care